winning without fighting. Praise Jesus. Romans chapter 12 verse 19 says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. You don't take the place of God. Vengeance is not yours, but the Lord's. Praise Jesus. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, Jehoshaphat, when three nations came against him, the Ammonite, the Moabite, and the Moanite, Jehoshaphat seeked the face of God. And while he was seeking the face of God, God spoke to him through his prophet. He said, fear not, for you will not need to fight in this battle, for the battle is not yours, but the Lord's. So Jehoshaphat gathered the people of Judah. They, were begin, they began to, to praise God, to worship God. Instead of preparing for battle, they were worshiping and praising God. And God laid ambush against those three nations and they killed themselves. Jehoshaphat won the battle without fighting. Praise Jesus. Second Kings chapter 6. When the army of Syria came against Elisha, the young man that was with Elisha was afraid. He came to Elisha, that master, that many that are against us. And Elisha said, Fear not, for many are they that are with us than they that are with them. And Elisha prayed that God should open the face, of the eyes of, of, of the young man. And God opened his eyes. And the young man saw on that mountain that so many horses and chariots of fire that surround Elisha. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Elisha won that battle without fighting. Praise Jesus. Matthew chapter 2 as well. When Aaron wanted to kill Jesus. Wanted to kill Jesus when Jesus was a baby. God told Joseph to take Jesus and Mary to go to Egypt and stay there until I bring you a word. To stay in Egypt until further instruction from the Lord. And for God to ask him to go to Egypt for refuge, it means, it also means that there is no place that could be too dangerous for God to preserve your life. It doesn't matter those that are against you. It doesn't matter those that are against you. It doesn't matter the Goliath that is after you. The battle is not yours, but the Lord's. You need to learn to win without fighting. And when Aaron died, just God told him to come back to, to Israel with Mary and Jesus. And Jesus won that battle without fighting. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. James chapter 1 verse 19 says, Be quick to listen, be slow to speak, and be slow to rot, to slow to anger. For rot of man worketh not the righteousness of God. The anger of man will never promote the righteousness of God. That is why you have to hold your peace. When you learn to win without fighting, to allow God to fight for you, it will keep you at peace. It will lead you beside the still waters. It will restore your soul. Praise Jesus. Uh, Moses told the children of Israel, he said, fear not, be still and see the salvation which the Lord we show you today. For the Egyptians which you have seen today, you shall see them no more. And the Spirit of God is saying to you right now, Fear not, be still, and see the salvation which the Lord will show you today. For the Egyptians which you have seen today, you shall see them no more. You also can believe what Jehoshaphat believed, the word of God. 
The Lord will cause the enemy that come against you to be smitten before your face. They shall come against you in one way and flee before you seven ways. Behold, they shall truly gather, but not by me. Whosoever that gather together against you shall fall for your sake. It was not all what they said against Jesus that Jesus reacted to. And he won the battle. Praise Jesus. Proverbs 14, 17 says, He that is soon angry, delayed foolishly. He that gets angry so quick, behave foolishly. And verse 29, 29 says, He that is slow to anger is of a great understanding. You learn to hold your peace. Praise Jesus. You see, when police come to, to make arrests, they will tell the person to keep quiet, to be silent, for whatsoever it says there can be used against him in the court of law. You don't run your mouth. Be slow to speak. Be slow to anger. Praise Jesus. You can also believe that word that is written concerning you. That the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Some trust in child and some in horses. But we shall remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and falling, but we are standing. We are rising and standing upright in the name of Jesus. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where coming my help. My help coming from the Lord that made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth his stretch and let that slumber not sleep. The Lord is my keeper, the Lord is shed upon my right hand. The sun shall not speak by the Lord, the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil, shall preserve my soul, shall preserve my going and my coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Hallelujah. They looked unto him and they were not ashamed. Praise Jesus. Blessed be the Lord that I not deliver me, that I have not delivered me as a prey to their teeth, for my soul has escaped as a snare, out of this, out of as a bed out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken. My soul has escaped. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. You can also choose to believe what is written concerning you and begin to win without fighting. In whatsoever you are going through. Ensure that you never turn your back against the Lord. Because that is the will of the devil. To break that relationship we have with the Lord. That was what the devil did to Job. When God told him, have you considered my servant Job, the perfect man on earth? And the devil said, as Job, does, Job, does Job believe uh, serve the Lord for nothing? Because God has blessed him. I set the hedge around him. That was... Why Job serving the Lord, believing the Lord? And God said, okay, do whatever you want to do to him, but don't touch his life. And devil took away all what Job had in the same one in one day. Even his two, his ten children, seven sons and three daughters. All his possessions, devil took them away in one day. And the Bible said Job fell down and worshipped the Lord. That God give it and take it. Because the devil was not after the, his possessions. But he, the devil was after the relationship that Job had with the Lord. Because he knows that when that relationship is cut off, then he will be able to destroy. That is why, whatsoever you are going through, remain in the Lord. Stay where the Lord will find you. Even after that, the devil did not leave him alone. To the extent that his wife said to Job to curse God and die. But Job told his wife that you speak like one of the foolish women. Praise Jesus. And what happened at the end of the life of Job? God restored everything back to him. In double. In double. 
And when God restored everything back to him, the scripture says, after that, Job lived for 140 years. And the last verse in the book of Job, chapter 42, verse 17, it says, Job died being old and full of days. He died an old man full of days. Because he never let the devil cut off that his relationship with the Lord. Job said, though he slay me, yet I will hope in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Believe what is written concerning you. And win without fighting. It will give you peace. It will restore your soul. It will lead you beside the still water. God bless you so much. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I pray that this message will bless you. We wake you up in the name of Jesus. Please, for those that have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do so. Subscribe, like the video, share the video, and God bless you so much in the name of Jesus. For those that have subscribed, I appreciate you so much, and I'm praying for you. God bless you all. And I will see you soon in my next video, God's willing, in Jesus' mighty name. Be at peace. In Jesus' name. Amen.